hi all i wanted to make a quick video about different stages of trading this is a journey that i've experienced myself and probably i'm still going through but i thought i'll share it with you before i begin i would like to mention that this is an educational channel all content over here is for the sake of education kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below with that said let's proceed so i've drawn an excel sheet where i've put up about eight stages of trading according to me and they look something like this so we are currently on stage one which is the first sheet at this stage what happens basically is you are new to trading say for example you have come in with one lakh rupee of capital i'll divide a month into four weeks well i'll assume that one week goes to holidays and the remaining three weeks or approximately 21 days you actually get to trade now i know monday to friday is five days but for the sake of simplicity i have not calculated that way i have told that there are four weeks in a month one week is for holidays and the remaining three weeks we trade approximately so week one will have seven days week two will have seven days week three will have seven days and week four will be holiday all right let's look at something the, the first month of a new trader he's coming with about one lakh rupee capital approximately for assumption's sake and he's trying to trade all right in those four weeks he will have one week where things will go as he As he thinks in his mind, the day will go exactly the way he thinks. He will probably make 1,000 rupees on those days every day. So those seven days he will make 7,000 rupees. He will have one week in that month where everything will go opposite to what he thinks. On those days he will lose 1,000 rupees each day and he will lose 7,000. So some of these two are zero. The biggest loss for a new trader will come not whether things are going his way or opposite of his way when things are going sideways. Sideways is the most dangerous market and initially for a new trader he will lose double the money he makes or loses where he is able to understand things on a sideways days because whether he goes buy or whether he goes sell he will be losing on both the direction. And it is too early for him, you know, to come to the come to terms that this is the day not to trade. He will eventually understand that, but not initially. So this will be the most damaging day for him in the beginning. This is a, of course all assuming that prior to this, you at least have studied the market by looking at what is a call, what is a port. You know a little bit about futures. You know a little bit about options. You know a little bit about cash trading on stocks. So I'm assuming that you have spent a year doing all of that and now you have jumped into the market and this is your first month where you're applying all the knowledge that you have. According to me, your first month will go something like this. You will have some wins, you will have some losses, but your maximum losses will come from days that are sideways. They are the most dangerous days. They will not let you make money upwards or downwards. And it's especially from people who are coming in with low capital who are option buyers. Uh, you can't be an option seller from day one. Option to become a good option seller also takes years of experience. All right. So I'm assuming, so I'm assuming over here that. You're a newcomer you come in with a limited capital and you're an option buyer good for you but your first month will approximately go something like this in my view at least all right your maximum damage will come from sideways days from this you will learn and you will start going to stage two now each stage for some people will be a one month for some people will be one year all right and it's got nothing to do with your intelligence some people just understand things faster and they can implement changes very quickly some people understand things but they take longer time to implement and it's got nothing to do with your intelligence it's just human nature all right so stage one to eight that i've discussed over here some people will take eight years some people will take four years some people will take two years and some people will never get it all right so let's see we are now going into stage two 
in stage two you're again making 1000 rupees a day that's not a problem you're losing 1000 rupees a day on the days things are going opposite to you but now you have gone a little bit more intelligent and you have decreased your losses on sideways day from 2000 rupees loss per day to 1000 rupees loss per day by just doing this by understanding that there are going to be sideways days and these days are totally confusing market is neither going up nor going down i will only trade up to a limit and after that i will not trade so now you have one week of gains one week of losses and another week of losses all right but you have decreased your losses in the sideways day also from 2000 rupees a day to 1000 rupees a day so in my view you have made some progress your losses from 14000 have now come down to 7000 then you will go into stage 3 just remember your profits are not increasing all right but you're reducing your losses so now in stage 3 what happens is you are still making 1000 rupees a day on good days on the days that go opposite to you you have realized i will take one or two trades i will not experiment more than that all right i'll understand today is not my day and i'll stop i will not keep on trading so in stage 3 you on the days that are going opposite to you you will further decrease your losses from 1000 rupees a day to 500 rupees a day but you will still make 1000 rupees of losses on sideways days but not bad you have again made some progress from 7000 rupees of loss now you have come to 3500 rupees of loss per month you will now go into stage 4 in stage 4 you will still making 1000 rupees a day but now you have decreased the days that go opposite to you to 500 rupees a day and sideways days also you have somehow now managed to decrease your losses to 500 rupees a day you have realized i've got a certain threshold the moment i hit that threshold i will not trade anymore so you have brought in more discipline into your life by doing this and you have got some control over now on days that are going sideways sideways days are the most damaging by the way and you have finally learnt some discipline and some kind of you know intelligence has struck into you that i will have days that go my way i will have days that go opposite to me and i have, and I have days that i don't understand what's happening at all on those days also i will limit my losses i will not go beyond the point so now in stage four what is happening is you are not making money but the best part is you're not losing money then you'll hit stage five in stage five now what happens is after spending four you know four stages your profits also have gone up eventually after four stages of making thousand rupees a day your profits have gone up slightly by 500 rupees a day all right you just tend to get better doing something remember in one to four stage which may be one year for somebody or each stage may be one year for somebody for one for some people it may be six months but in in first four stages we have only taken thousand rupees a day as profit only in stage five we are taking 1500 rupees a profit so now you are making a little bit higher profits you, are, you have decreased or you are maintaining your loss at 500 rupees a day you have realized two trades go against me i stop and what you have got really good at now is understanding the day which are sideways which totally are beyond your understanding you have realized that okay the day i totally don't understand the markets i'm not going to trade which is the best thing you can do all right and you and you have minimized your losses on sideways days to the minimum 300 rupees again it's not come down to zero still you are you have told yourself okay one or two trades i'll take but i'll minimize my losses that, that the moment i understand this is a sideways day and things are not going my way in fact i don't know whether to go long or to go short i will just stay out all right so this is your biggest advantage at this stage you have managed to cut your losses on sideways day to a minimum so now from making zero money you have started making 4900 rupees a month all right then comes stage six now your profits have gone up to 2000 rupees a day all right and your loss also has increased from 500 rupees a day it's gone up to 600 rupees a day 
all right because you're taking a little more i mean if you were paying one lot earlier now you're playing two lots so if you make a little more money you'll probably lose also a little more money all right but the best thing is you have understood my the best thing that i can do is avoid sideways days and your sideways days losses have further come down because you have realized the day i don't understand anything i don't understand whether to go long or short i will stay out of the market i'll make a small loss i'll understand that this is not my day i'll come out by just doing that you have now taken your profits up to 8400 rupees a month all right from 4900 rupees now you've gone to 8400 rupees stage 7 now from 2000 rupees a day you're making 3000 rupees a day profit and your losses is also going up from 600 rupees a day loss to 800 rupees a day loss all right but you have limited your sideways day to 200 this is where you, you know you have maximized your losses by staying out of the market when days are going sideways when you take a trade you don't understand what the hell is happening you have learned that this is not my day i'm not understanding what's happening by just doing that now your profits have gone from 8400 to 14000 a month because your profits have gone up slowly over time but what you have good at, got, become good at is decreasing your losses now you get to stage 8 and now you are making 4000 rupees a day and uh, your losses also have gone up from 800 rupees a day to 1000 rupees a day because earlier you were trading one lot then you went to two lots and now you are probably trading three or four lots all right so your losses also have gone up from 800 to 1000 rupees a day and your even sideways losses have gone up because your turnover is now higher you are trading more lots maybe you were trading two three lots earlier now you're trading four lots all right but the beauty is you'll still make from 14,000 you will still jump to 18,900 because you're still keeping these sideways days under control and you know when to stay out of the market so the lesson in this excel sheet on stages of making money probably just teaches us one thing it's not about your good days in the market it's not about your bad days in the market it's about the days you are not able to understand the markets totally markets are neither going up they are neither going down you take a call you lose money you take a put you lose money on those days the best thing to do is stay out of the market even a loss making day is better than a sideways day a loss making day you'll understand today the market is behaving exactly opposite of what i'm thinking you will stay out of the market because you are able to understand what's happening all right you are you 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 came to trade with the logic that today the markets most probably will go long but it goes short and you understood today the market is taken an opposite position to my position which is fine i've made my loss cut my losses and i'm out but the sideways days are the most damaging because you you are not able to understand what the market is doing and that does not apply to you alone a lot of people will be confused that day the market will neither go up it will go three bars up four bars down then three bars up and force the four bar down those are the days where you got to stay out of the market take a minimal hit and stay out so as you notice in stage one to eight our profits for the first four stages were only thousand rupees a day after that our profits gradually started going up but more importantly where we actually made money was by trying to control our losses and the the best control came from controlling the losses on sideways days where you didn't understand what the market is doing you you took one small hit after that also when you're watching the screen you're just not able to understand what the market is trying to do recently we had a day like that i think it was the this week on wednesday yeah i think uh, 14th of august uh, was a complete sideways day i think it was a bank nifty expiry the whole day from start to end was imagine bank nifty was stuck in a range and it was not moving completely uh, i think it was 14th august because i think it was a bank expiry day if you look at the charts for that day you'll realize that it was a complete non-trending day all right you go long you lose money you go short you lose money those are the days we need to stay outside the market by just doing that you will stop making losses and the day you stop making losses you will start making money all right 
So I hope this this different stages of trading according to me one to eight stage it can be one to six for some it can be one to ten for others it can all these eight stages you may take eight years some may take eight years to understand these eight stages some may understand in four years some may understand in two years but that does not matter as long as you understand it eventually and understand the fact that trading is no more not only about making more money it's also about not losing money all right when you stop losing money is the time you start actually making money on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching if you found this video useful to you then please like and subscribe to the channel share this video with your family and friends please leave a nice comment if possible give the video a thumbs up that really helps grow our channel also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye have a nice day